Hi, my name is Bob Greenier and I'm a volunteer with the Martin Fleischmann Memorial Project. So what you're looking at there is a magnetic stirrer in a 250 milliliter graduated flask. And into that we're going to be placing water, distilled water, uh, here. Uh, measuring it to 250 milliliters. And we're going to be placing it into these three containers here, disposable containers, to mix up these three calibration buffer solutions at various pHs. And they are going to be used to calibrate these two digital pH meters here. So we've got a new one, and this is Alan's previous one. And we're going to calibrate these two. And the reason we're doing that is because of the experiment that we conducted with large numbers of sheets, in fact seven sheets of um, aluminium foil, alumina, aluminium foil here. And we're going to see what the pH of this water is. Because it would appear that we observed hydrogen coming out of there at least yesterday and we want to see if that has changed the acidity or alkalinity of the water. I suspect it's going to be alkaline if we're going to have more OH in there. And what we're going to do is we're going to take these out, uh, we're going to dry them and then put them in this bag here for a look on the SEM later. And That is where we are at the moment. So here are the sheets. This is the toppermost sheet underside. This is the second sheet underside. This is the third sheet underside. This is the fourth sheet underside. This is the fifth sheet underside. And this is the sixth sheet underside. And this is the seventh sheet underside. So, <clears throat> if you look, as we place these on top of each other, you can see that the holes essentially line up. Uh, there we go. So, the damage pattern at least in this experiment, is mostly going through the body of the water in a column, like one might imagine there's a vortex going up through. Not always the case. And here you can see this gets bigger here. Well, at the bottom of this, and we will see if we can magnetically extract some of that and see if we have any of our iron-rich crenelated microspheres. Here is the view of the lowermost six sheets, with this being the underside of the lowest sheet, and then going this way, and then going up, and then going across, with this one here being the underside of the topmost sheet. So we're going to leave those to dry. Okay, so the first one's about done. I imagine it would be quite hard uh, to stir these things. It took quite a bit of time without having a magnetic stirrer, but I'm sure it's possible. So our three calibrated buffer solutions are made and we are going to calibrate our pH meters. Well that was not easy but I finally got it calibrated. The instructions were nigh on useless but here you can see it's in the pH 686 buffer solution. It's at 6.89 which is good enough for government work. And if we put that over in here and swirl it around a bit in the 9. Point one eight. Let's let that sit there for a bit of time, and there we can see nine point one eight. Bang on. Okay, 
and then we're going to pull, pull that over here and I'm going to put that into the 4.01 swirl that around a bit see what we get and there we go 4.03 and that's without letting it sit there too long 4.03 4.01 beautiful right so we're going to rinse that off here in our distilled water here and we're going to drain it and we're going to put it into our tank from yesterday we will see what we can see what is the ph of this after our experiment that's the question let's see what it is oh no and he drain sinks it so it is 7.62 bearing in mind that was distilled water to start with that is mildly alkaline as was expected just to check again we will move it around a bit in here uh, move it around a bit 7.62 Three, 7.4. We will rinse that off. This is the deionized water. The uh, distilled water, rather, that it started as. We have our different buffer solutions here. This is 6.86 and you can see it's reading 6.86. So I'm not going to rinse it off. I'm just going to see if we can get it to pick it up. And so that is now in the 4.01 and it's reading uh, 3.9944. That's pretty good, I'd say. And then we'll put it over into the 9.18 buffer solution. See what we get there. And it's come up to 9.1, 9.18. Okay, so with that in mind, I'm going to rinse that off in our standard deionized water. Get rid of the excess water there, and we're going to put it into our tank here and see what it says. There we go. So. It's mildly alkaline as expected. Okay, so we'll leave that on there for now. Sitting on that edge, is it going to stay there? Yeah, okay. And we will get some <sighs> universal indicator paper here. Get some of these out of here and see what it thinks. This is. We've got some there. pH strips. That's reading 7.48 now, so I'll take one of these over there. And uh, we will put that in here. Okay, so that looks to be. A little bit neutral, but uh, there we go, let that dry. But I think that's. Is it going a bit green? I don't know. It's probably taking some chemical from the table now, that's no good. <laughs> uh -huh. So, seven and a half there. Uh, uh, maybe. Not so obvious. Definitely seven and a half there. Uh, we'll try a couple of indicator strips in these as well. One in each. Yeah, I just need another pair of hands now. So that's in the four. There we go. It's going to fall in if I do that. Probably is. That's the four. 
I need another pair of hands. That's the six. And here is the nine point one eight. Okay, so there we go. And so Almost close to that, isn't it? Definitely see these are what they are. That's four. This is meant to be our six point eight six. And this is our nine point one eight. Thank you very much for your time. I'll see you in the next video.